Hello, this is one final look at the LEGO Creator 2024 three in one set Wild Safari Animals. This is the C model. Te technically, you could call the lion a C model. It's very, very close. The B and the C are very, very close in their level of, of complexity, which is significant. So we already looked at the giraffe, which is the main model. We looked at the lion up close and that was fantastic. This does give you both of these animals plus a reasonable side build as well. Still using just the parts of one single set. We'll move this off to the side. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and look at the doe first. This definitely at first glance looks pretty proper in terms of its overall proportions. It's very clear that the designer was really, really looking at the animal to try to capture its essence as best possible with the pieces available. And it was a good selection of pieces. It was a good choice to go with this subject matter uh, altogether. Each of the builds in this set, I think, uh, is, is able to be well rendered with the parts and with the colors specifically included. Really smart choices there. The neck on this one is not able to move forward, forward and back up and down, but the head is able to, to rotate around, which is, which is good because you want to be able to, to turn it like that. And you can also move the ears in and out a bit, which I believe they're able to operate those independently to operate them like it's a, like it's a mech. A little bushy tail back here, well, a tiny, tiny little one can be moved up and down. I just had it up because it, I figured it made it look a little bit more, more spry. And very importantly, the legs can be splayed on this, which is especially important. The younger that you want to make this scene, the more you want to have the legs apart because it's going to be awkward and still learning how to stand and to walk. You know, And also it makes it just look a little bit more playful. You can get this easily onto a three-legged stance. You know, it's, it's got more than the balance and the the, the frame to it and the base to it to make that happen. Just generally, this looks quite good to me, although the legs themselves you know, are limited in how much you can bend them. And they do only articulate just from right here. So you got a little bit, a little bit forward, well, actually quite a bit forward, a little bit back, and then all that in and out. And you can kind of rotate them around to, to do things, but no bending in between. It's a very similar story with the full grown model here. Once again, the legs are not able to bend in between, but they can move forward and back each, and they're also able to splay, but just not as much. There's really limited motion there. Exact same tail, tiny little tail there. And the most interesting way that the neck is connected, because they use two of the, the bionicle style of, of uh, ball joint pieces, the larger ball and socket pieces, and they're from the sides. See, it's actually it's actually straddling the core right here. That's really nice. It's it's interesting use of parts. Interesting planning ahead once again to have the parts needed to pull off each of these builds. Certainly, a lot of iteration went into that, and just a little bit of coverage with the the longer tiles there. I think is pretty smart. I love once again the white. I think the white is really really important. I think that you know that that alternate color that that undercoat color being used not only with this animal, but the other two animals as well, is an extra stroke of, of care. Just care for the subject matter. You know, make sure that those parts are there and available for each of them. I think it was really smart. This doesn't look good right here, right? Obviously, it looks a little bit better on this side because of the, the color, but you know, this is what we have for, for the insert there, which honestly, it's not that bad, especially considering that this is a C model, it's not that bad. The haunches, I think, are better. You know, the, the rear legs, the thighs here are better than the, than the fronts, especially since we also have these open holes here. I think those could have been covered up perhaps, but obviously not with the pieces included in the set. Otherwise, sure, it, it would have been done. A little bit of this, this angle right here, I think, is actually... Uh, pretty smart. Uh, again, just capturing a lot of the important details of the animal. And this offset here is also good. The hooves can be articulated so you can, no matter what small range of motion you take advantage of here that will still allow it to be standing, you can at least get the, the hooves to extend just a little bit to get a little bit closer to the ground or you can get them flattened out in any direction that you want. And then looking at the head, all right? Little one and the adult one. Both pretty darn good. For so few pieces. Now, unlike with the giraffe and the lion, this does not use a, a tremendous volume of super, super uh, clever building. It's just what it needs. It doesn't feel like a 
It doesn't feel like sh it's showing off just how complex the designer could make it, uh, how complex the solutions could be to some, some difficult problems in trying to replicate these shapes. It's just very straight to the point. And uh, that doesn't take anything away from it whatsoever. Still have the ability to independently operate the <laughs> the, uh, the ears there, so you can make it look like it's looking. I, I only don't like it from the front. From every other angle, I think I think it looks good. Sorry, I keep losing focus there, but from every other angle, it looks good. Just from straight on, not so much. But here, that's good. And then I very much like how the antlers are done, even though they do have holes on the side, like the the knotty. Uh, the kind of the suggestion of, of, of knots in it, the suggestion of texture in it is good. Also having these little claw pieces that reverse the curve. So you've got, this comes in here and this kind of suggests that that twirl or it spins back out. It's pretty smart. Of course, you can turn that around if, you, if you're not completely happy with that, but so much of this is so good. And again, to me, it's really, really the white that brings everything together. The white and the tiles on the sides, both. Um, and just the part usage overall. I mean, obviously, you know, it's, it's not a small set. So there was a lot, to, there was a lot to work with in the first place. Oh, I should probably show you what this can do as far as reaching down, I'm trying to get into more of a, cause, cause you want to be able to have it going up to, to water. That's close. So it'd be nice to have a little bit of bend in here, but you know, we're, we're working on it. And the side build is easily accessible. You don't have to go that far with it easily accessible from here. I don't even have to do all this, right? So the idea is that it would be getting a, getting a little chomp, you know, just taking a little off, off the top. Some of the, some of the younger, softer leaves, <laughs> just cherry picking those around there. And then speaking of the, the side build, this one is, this one is nice because it has a, a lot of density. It doesn't use up all of the the foliage pieces in the set, but it has a nice density of, of the greenery and does use some different shapes. But even though some of these feel like leftover pieces, feel like spare pieces, still ends up, the, the whole thing still ends up being believable enough. And I think the use of gray inside of here is good. I think it's smart because it's, it's nice to see some variation, not always just that standard reddish brown. There are quite a few leftover pieces, but it didn't feel like an excessive amount. Some alternate builds for creator three and ones leave so much on the table, leave so much behind. It just feels like an absolute shame, especially where you can just look at a pile and say, well, you could have done more with X <laughs> with the pieces that are in front of me. You can very easily make more terrain with this. You, you can see that, but I just don't feel like either of the main builds here suffered for the lack of, of use of additional pieces. I think that each of the, I think each of the main builds was done uh, very purposefully. And what's left over is just left over. You want to do more with it? You can, but this doesn't feel wrong to me. In fact, the whole thing feels very, very right. Again, this is the C model. This is the one that's supposed to be the worst that you're used to being the worst. The one that's most likely to be a, a big question mark. I mean, would I ever buy, would I ever build this? Would I ever buy this whole set and build this model? I, I can, but would I, in this case, yes. This is worth building. This could have been an A model in a cheaper set. I would not spend $65 for these, although it's not the most outrageous thing to think of for this amount of stuff. If you really love this, if you really love gazelles and you love Lego and you see this and you're willing to pay 65 for it, I, I would not say you're, you're, you're being unreasonable to yourself and to your wallet. But if this were to be sold as its own thing, I would prefer it to be much cheaper, but it's not sold as its own thing. It's part of a three in one and it's an excellent, uh, every, every single build in the set is excellent. I am 100% satisfied with this whole thing and feel like it's a wonderful product to have on the market. Those are my thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. Again, if you're only seeing this video and you haven't seen the others, check them out. The lion and the main one is a giraffe. Bye for now.